I know many of you have watched on the news or through the, the entertainment media outlet about Will Smith slapping Chris, <laughs> Chris Rock in the face. I mean, that, that's like came back from Mississippi. <laughs> Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Maryland. He slapped the taste out of his mouth. But anyway, some of you might not know, I'm not going to get into the story right now, but some of you might not know that Will's been holding this in for some years now. Yeah, he's been heated at Chris Rock for some years. And I guess this was the bullet point. He just had it. <laughs> he just had it. <laughs> but I'll let y'all know about that some more in the pew. <laughs> Play K. Click it. Okay, as y'all already know, y'all heard it. The slap that sounded across the world. <laughs> you know... I'm not going to get too deep into this because y'all already know everything that happened at the Oscars, but I will say this. That was a low blow. That was a real low blow Chris Rock did and in, in putting in his monologue, that joke about Jada. You know, he could have let that one go. He could have slide. Now, you know, Chris has been known for aiming at the, the audience, you know, in the Oscars, you know, um, when he's hosting because that's that's normally what he does and most of the people in the audience are actors and actresses and entertainers and so forth and so forth but i mean to really come out like that on this man's wife in her condition was that wrong now you have some people that you know that disagree and think that will smith was wrong well just look at it this way you know, when the way men are, and you know, the way that we are, we're going to defend and take up for our, for our woman, our significant other. We're definitely going to do that. And to come out on national TV and make fun of this, this woman's condition like that by saying that she's a G.I. Joe, G.I. Jane and, and, you know, the next movie and so forth, whatever he said, I, I, you know, I'm just paraphrasing. But he did come out of his face crooked. And talked about her condition, not exactly her condition, but indirectly talked about her condition. So like any man would do, protect the honor of his wife, Will Smith, you know, hey, he got up and slapped the crap out of him. <laughs> now, a lot of people say they don't condone violence and stuff because I was watching some of the clips this morning on the news media and the entertainment media. And... You know, you, it's like half and half, you know. Some people empathize with him in the actions that he took. And then again, you have others who are uh, frowning upon it and saying that, you know, he took the moment out, the moment away from the Oscars by, by doing that. But again, this man basically felt that he had to you know, stand up for his wife. You know, of course, he was laughing when the joke was first uh, blurted out by Chris Rock, but probably when he took a look at his wife's face and saw how hurt she was, hey, the rest is history, as you know. One thing I know for certain and two for sure is that you're in violation when you, when you attack a man's family. You're in violation. I don't care if you're on a, on a Hollywood platform in the limelight, you're an actor, you're popular, whatever. Street law is street law. You do not attack a man's family. And Chris Rock violated that. He violated that. I mean, and that's what I believe and what I feel. That's the way I feel. Any man. I, okay, although he did laugh at the joke, when he looked at his wife's face probably and saw how she was looking, it probably tore him up. It probably tore him up even more because of the fact that he was laughing at the joke. And then saw how the look on her face and then got up and walked over there. See, she has a condition. I'm sure you all know because Jada, you know, has put this out in the public. It's called, I believe it's called uh, a disease called alopecia. And, you know, 
the results of people losing their hair, particularly women, because I know a lot of women gets this. And you know the saying, when a woman lose her hair, no crown, no glory. You know, females are very, 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 very sensitive when it comes to their hair. And you know how black women are when it comes to their hair. You, come on, the audience that are watching us that are in, in our community, y'all know how sisters are about their hair, you know? So I know that shot, even though she's, you know, being brave about it and showing to the public that she's going to just be her, not wear a wig and just and just be as she is herself without any shame. Chris Rock, when he made that that joke, I'm sure that shot daggers through her heart because again, y'all know, man, the sisters are very, very sensitive when they come to their hair. Everything is about their hair, you know, the, the hair salons, the, the, the weeds, everything. It's all about even the perms, all that. They always trying to keep that hair right. Y'all know this. So he violated, man. He should not. Me personally, what I'm saying is this. He should never come out of his face like that, man. Not told that man's wife. He should never have. Not that, that man's wife in the condition that she's in. This is the disease. It's like anybody else that might have a disease. You don't talk about sick people. You don't make jokes about somebody who is sick. Now, her sickness just has to happen to be a dis ease in her hair follicles in the condition of her losing her hair. It's not that, that was not cool. Not at all. Now, okay, there you have it. But if y'all remember at the beginning of my intro, I said that there was something going on between Will Smith and Chris Rock long before this Oscars. You know, because uh, back in 2016, Jada Smith was boycotting, along with other people and actors and stuff, boycotting, black actors, boycotting the Oscars and saying that it was, uh, you know, it was too whitewashed because, you know, they, there were no blacks being nominated, you know, on the Oscars. So she was boycotting it. But Chris Rock happened to be the one who was hosting the Oscars in 2016. And he had put, deliberately put in his monologue something against Jada Pink, Jada Pink Smith. And he said, how can Jada be boycotting the Oscars when she wasn't even invited? I mean, why did he pick, what I don't understand is why did he just pick her out, select her out, out of all the other actors? I don't know why. But, you know, Will held that in for some years and he had a beef. He, you know, he didn't like that. And he held that in. So I guess he let it out. <laughs> hey, look. I, I'm not glorifying what he did, but the man, you know, went off on him. You know what I'm saying? He had a knee-jerk reaction. He looked at his wife's face, saw she was hurt, even though he was laughing. See, you don't know. People, he might have been laughing, but in the back of his mind, sometimes people put on a persona. They might be feeling a certain way, but, you know, just playing it off, playing it off, just trying to get along or whatever. But you see how quickly he went up there. And on national TV, worldwide. Now, my sister-in-law, we were going at it this morning because she was saying, that's wrong, you know, this, that, and the other. You know, now blacks on the Oscars and stuff. They have blacks on the Oscars and stuff like that. And Will Smith get up there and do something like that. He shouldn't have done that. He should have pulled him, Chris Rock, to the side after the show and said something to him about that. Well, you know, when you get a knee-jerk reaction, that doesn't, you know, pan out that way. Normally it doesn't, you know. And my sister-in-law, she's wanting to talk because I, I said to her, I said, you, you being double standing here. She said, what do you mean? I said, well... What about you? What about you? That lady was in your face at your job and you open handed slapped her on the floor and you got fired. So what is the difference? And she said, well, he, that was in a private area. He's on national TV. It doesn't matter. She had a knee jerk reaction. This man could have had a knee jerk reaction, especially with all that stuff building up over the years that he was holding all that time. You know, you know, I mean, you know, just like I said, you know, was it right what he did? No, I mean, but at the same time, who's right and who's wrong? Was Chris Rock wrong or was Will Smith wrong? If anything, both of them was wrong. 